So before we go and talk about .NET, let me first talk about what is programming language. What is structured programming language? Will you all able to hear me? Everybody can able to hear me? Online guys. So what is structured programming language? If you write a structured programming language, you will have void main method, which is C programming, okay? When you go any C program, within the C program, you write 100 plus or 1000 plus lines of code in a single void main method, right? You are writing code in 100 plus or single line of code. Okay, so what will happen in this 1000 plus line of code, if two line of code, if two lines of code, two lines of code can be repetitive for 30 times so that it is not possible. You have to copy the code, copy the code, copy the code, and you have to write it. Is it the best practice? No. That is why this program will be called as a structural programming language. To overcome this, we we come up with we come up with object oriented programming. Will you all able to see my screen, ma'am? Will you all able to see my screen? Everybody. Object oriented programming language. Right? In object oriented programming language, there are four important factors. The first one is abstraction. Second one is encapsulation. I will teach you what is abstraction encapsulation at the time of .NET, just to understand. Okay, so encapsulation. Third one is inheritance. Okay, fourth one is polymorphism. Polymorphism. I regard my point. So, to come up with object-oriented programming language, we always have abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. Why do I have these things, sir? Anything, any code you return, any code you return, which will be treated, which will be treated as, as a class, all the code you are going to write or treat, written or write, treated within a class. So, to using object-oriented programming language, we are come up with the concept called abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. Now, you all understand? What is structured programming language and what is object-oriented programming language? Everybody, online. Guys, are you able to hear? Sheikh Abbas and Nanita Reddy. Can I go forward? Yeah, so after that, what happened? I'm going with an MS Paint. Let me give you overview of it. In the overview, the very first programming language we discussed is what? What we discussed? Structure programming language. Structural programming language. Clear? To overcome structural programming language, we come up with object-oriented programming language, right? We overcome object-oriented programming language. This is called OOPS concept C and C, C++, which we are learning. From C and C, C++, there are two organizations. There are two organizations, let me show you. One is Sun Microsystem, the company name called Sun Microsystem. 
Ah, what do I do? Will you all able to see my screen? One company called as Sun Microsystem. Sun Microsystem introduced a lab programming language called Java. Introduced programming language called Java. Right? So the Java was introduced by Sun Microsystem and it is purely object oriented. And this is purely an object oriented program. So that in the year 1990s, in the year 1990s, always people prefer Java. They will call it as Java, j 2 -E. right? These are all the things they will talk. Whereas in Microsoft, in parallel, they come up with the two versions. Here, they come up with the two versions. One is, they come up with the two version, Microsoft introduced, introduced VP 1.0 and ASP 1.0. Did you all hear this one? Did you all hear it, this term in anywhere? Visual Basic and ASP.NET? Anybody? Do you guys have heard this one? Visual Basic or anything? Vijay? Sir? Did you hear VB and ASP? What VB. This VB means Visual Basic. VB yeah. is Visual Basic. Yes. It is purely object-based. It is not object-oriented. That is why in 1990s till 2003, Java is leading the market. Java is leading the market. So Microsoft decided, and they come up with the component called, Microsoft decided, they come up with the component called Microsoft.net in the year 2002. The very first release of .NET is year 2000. Do you all clear, clear this point? Everybody clear this point? Can I move forward? Yes, sir. Yes. So from the structured programming language, there are two organizations. That time, no Python, nothing. Python was there. They considered that as a scripting language. They never used much on Python. They all worked on either go with Java or go with .NET. I got my point. So in the till 2002, Java is ruling the market. Microsoft come up with the .NET. Now coming back to my Word document, let me save this so that is it is needed for you. I create ITAS batch folder, ITAS batch. Here, I'm going to present .NET evolution. I'm just going to say this, .NET evolution. Now I'm closing this. Now what happened in the year, in the year 2002, Microsoft introduced .NET 1.0 framework. Microsoft introduced .NET 1.0 framework. Okay, in .NET 1.0 framework was introduced in the year 2002, but still, that version is not stable. That version is not stable. It has certain issues and everything. Are you got my point? So that version is not stable. Okay. Now, the next subsequent year, .NET 1.1 has been released in the year of February 2020, 2003. Right. 
This is where 2003 people started talking about .NET. February 2003, people start talking about .NET. In that, you will have stable version. Stable version. What are all the type of application I can develop using .NET? I can develop console-based console or command prompt application. Console or command prompt application. I will explain what is command prompt and all those things. I can develop Windows application. I can develop web application. I can also develop web services. These are all the different type of application I can use. These are all the application I can build. When I say command prompt application, this is my command prompt. This black lady, black box will be treated as a command prompt application. When I say Windows based application, I go to my page, go to my UI pass to you see Windows app. See, this application was built using .NET. You see this? This application, what I created calculator was built using .NET. So for that, you are using calculator exe. Now see, I had a exe file, 12, 10. 12 divided by two, just take this. Click on add, 14 is coming. Subtract, 10 is coming. Multiply, 24 is coming. Divide, six is coming. Or you got my point? So this was built purely using .NET. Online guys, are you able to understand? Please unmute yourself. Are you clear? Vijay? Vijay? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Can I continue? Yeah, yes, sir. Nanita ready. So yes, sir. now you all understand what is command prompt application and what is Windows application. Now we are going to talk about web web's application. When you say web, web application, just you go type google.com. This is my web application. Here I'm going to say full stack .NET training in Amir Bay. Where this data is going to come from? Where this data coming from? It is coming from different server. I will explain what is it. So this is how your full stack .NET will be created. So this application, anything you are getting data from your browser, those applications are called as what? Web-based application. Okay. So these are all the application I'm developing. The next topic is, sir, can I go with only this? Yes. There are a few other things are there. One second. So the next one is .NET 2.0. The next version Microsoft has released to extend the futures .NET 2.0 in the year 2005. What are all the futures they brought it is in C Sharp, they come up with different, different information. One is partial class and few list collections. These are all the different, different concepts which has been come in C sharp, which we are going to learn in the upcoming chapters. I'll tell what is partial class, what is list, what is collection. Collection contain list, dictionary, hash table. I can teach everything, guys. Don't worry about it. The next one is in ASP.NET, they come up with the major thing is master pages. They come up with master pages. What is master pages? Let me explain. If I go to itastechnology.com, I'm going to itastechnology.com. You guys tell me whether my editor will change, in, my editor will be static or dynamic. Guys, please unmute and say, my editor and footer will be common, right? Always my footer is common. Always header is common in all pages, right? So using master page, 
one time i'm going to develop my header other time i'm going to develop my footer that's all only one time i'm going to do that for that microsoft has given master pages themes etc clear now you all see the features in dotnet 1.1 i created a normal application windows application web application web services whereas in dotnet 2.0 i am using a few features called as partial class i am using a partial class list collection like that it will go on okay now in 2028 2027 dotnet introduced another version called dotnet 3.0 which was in the year of 2007 where they come up with three new features one is windows presentation foundation which is called as wwf silver light applications you could have heard about it in the longer back windows presentation foundation now it all gone that time that was more familiar the next one is windows communication foundation windows communication foundation we can call it as wcf we can call it as wcf and we are also having one more called as windows service windows windows workflow service are you got my point anything you want to do step by step you have to go through workflows similar way windows presentation means presenting the ui in a different way for that windows presentation foundation the next one is there is a beauty here to work on to work on dotnet 3.0 features to work on dotnet features 3.0 features we need to install both both 2.0 and 3.2 is it advantage or disadvantage guys is it an advantage or disadvantage nanita reddy shake abas hey today i am explaining how dotnet was evolved and what are all the features are coming into dotnet and what we are going to learn in this particular four months duration clear guys can you unmute yourself vijay nanita shake if you are there nanita reddy i think it's an advantage sir come again i think it's an advantage for us now what advantages i don't understand by installing the 2.0 and 3.0 version for now 2007 dot net is it advantage or disadvantage i'm thinking it's advantage sir no it is not an advantage it is a disadvantage why because i need to install two framework software so that dotnet microsoft feel that why can't i release a one more feature 3.5 which combines both 2.0 and 3.2 right got it no more feature which was released in the year 2008 got it everybody clear anybody have any questions on this now yeah please it's a version okay i am clubbing 2.0 version and 3.0 version together and releasing a version called 3.5 i am having a version of 2.0 i am also having a version of 3.0 i got my point so when i have 2.0 version what i am doing when i want to run a project in 3.0 i supposed to install 2.0 version and 3.0 version it's a double work for me are you got my point so what i am planning to do instead of doing both microsoft given a framework called 3.5 which merges 2.0 version and 3.0 version which was released in the year 2008 okay after that microsoft 
come up with one more framework called 4.0. There, it was in the year of, I'm not sure about the year, I believe it is in 2010. Okay, 20, 2010, they come up with a new feature called ASP.NET MVC. There, they will have two things. One is, one is, what all the things are there? One is HTML, another one is Razor, Razor pages. That means if you use an HTML view, it basically go and create as a dot .ASPX. Whereas in Razor view, it is purely an HTML page. Have you got my point? On top of that, they also come up with a concept called .NET Web API. Did you all hear the term API? Anywhere, anywhere in your life? Guys, please tell me online. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is a. I think Vijay, you would have aware of these all the things, right? Whatever I'm talking, is it right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So that time .NET MVC 1.0 was released. Okay, and Web API 1.0 was released. After that, Microsoft released a doc. They had a lot of uh, new new features are added in the, at least four to five years. And after that, they come up with .NET 5.0, where that time, I'm not sure about the year because I'm not in that particular time, ASP.NET MVC 5.0 was released. So there are a lot of features are added. I'm going to tell every future at the time of class. And then now the beauty here is what is platform? Anyone can tell me. I will tell you how .NET was migrated into .NET Core. First, we need to understand what is platform. Anyone can tell me what is platform? Anyone can tell me platform? Anyone can tell me platform? See here, I'm having a computer. Okay, just listen carefully. I have CPU. Okay, I have hard disk. The next line I have mouse. I have keyboard. Excel, I have six, fifth one is printer. To activate this hardware component, what should I need? This is basically a computer. To start the computer, what does the technology I need here? Anyone can tell me? Vijay, can you tell me? Anyone can tell me? Huh? Yeah, Vijay? Sir, just turn on, I mean, I mean, Okay, you are turning on your computer, but how the turn on will be get activated? Shake, do you have any idea? Just think basics. See, I have a computer hardware component. I assembled a computer. Okay, think in this way. I have CPU separate. I have artist separate. I have monitor separate. Everything I'm assembled. But now to work on that computer, what I need to install. I want to install. I want to install on top of this. Right? Am I right or wrong? Without an operating system, I cannot able to turn on my computer. So what are all the operating systems I have? Windows, Linux, Unix, Solaris, Android. Like that, so many operating systems are available in the market. Now, can I say platform is nothing but combination of operating system and hardware component? Because when you go to market, somebody is asking, 
what is your computer my computer is a windows platform my computer is a linux platform my computer is a unix platform this is what we are speaking in the market right your mobile is android or ios android that means android platform am i right vijay anita anybody yes, have I mean. ios mobile any one of you have any ios mobile do you have anybody have ios mobile anita say vijay anybody have ios no sir no no all are having android so can i say platform is nothing but combination of combination of hardware component hardware component hardware component and operating system clear this is called hardware can i say when my laptop has windows can i say windows platform my laptop has windows can i say windows platform can i have linux os i can say linux platform right so now microsoft dot net microsoft dot net microsoft dot net will run only on windows operating system windows operating system in this case can i say microsoft dot net is a platform dependent or independent when i develop any project or any application i want to run only on windows platform if any customer doesn't have windows platform i cannot build a project in microsoft dot net i can only build a project in java are you got my point if i have a linux platform i can run java projects if i have a linux platform i cannot run dot net projects so is it an advantage to microsoft or it is a disadvantage to microsoft it's a guys nanita vijay disadvantage sir disadvantage so microsoft think that why can't i build a software with the dot net called dot net framework 6.0 now we are everybody calling us dot net core you all understand how the dot net core was ever this dot net core will run on any platform will run on any platform that means if i use dot net framework 6.0 on dabo i can run dot net projects in any platform you all clear with my point everybody clear with my point guys yes sir yes sir clear anita come again you all got my point can i move forward so after that which was built in the year 2018 dot net core was released in the year 2018 from dot net core we started using it we have web api we have html we have css we have javascript everything is there now to build dot net full stack to build to build dot net full stack developer what are all the skill sets a developer is needed full stack developer what is the first skill set a developer should need is the very first one is c sharp dot net are you got my point it is purely based on object oriented purely based on multi threading i need to learn a concept called multi threading and then i need to learn a concept called ado.net i need to learn a concept called deli oops concept me delegates everything will be there i need to learn a concept called collections 
okay i need to learn a concept called windows services i will explain what is windows service at the time of these are all the major thing you need to learn in c sharp dotnet basics oops multi threading radio.net collection windows service once after you read that you need to go with learn html basics and then you need to learn java script and you need to learn css cascade style sheeting with the three with this three i'm going to help to build web apply basic web application i regard my point on top of that i'm going to learn one more called bootstrap got it guys are you able to listen my words okay once you learned all these things you are familiar with once you learned all these things you are familiar with to build a static web pages are you got my point you are going to build a static web pages on top of that you are going to learn the important topic is asp.net basics asp.net you are going to learn basic controls basic controls which is not needed but still i am teaching basic controls and i'm going to teach you state management i will tell you what is state management this is most important thing in your web application okay and then in that you need to learn client side state management okay another one is you need to have server side state management what are all the server side state management we have in dotnet we are going to learn and this is more sufficient in normal asp dot then you go and learn asp dot net mvc asp dot net mvc in this i am going to learn razor pages razor pages i am not going to use the html pages because already we learned html now we are going to learn razor pages now we are going to use authentication and authorization which is more important authentication and authorization what is what is authentication and what is authorization for example you are logging in epfo portal if you want to log in in epfo portal guys are you able to hear me i'm clear with you i'm clear with you nanita and everybody yes sir are you all able to hear me okay so what is authentication means when you log in into an application you should have user id and password am i right or wrong when you log in with user id and password it means that you are a authenticated person for accessing the application right once you logged in there are certain roles there could be admin who can have all the access there could be a employee who can have only limited access that is called authorization once you log in with narendra in an application i will authenticated and what type of role i am going to perform the application will be defined by admin authorization right so that is called you are going to learn a concept called authentication and authorization and then few basics and then you are going to learn web api right the last topic i'm going to learn typescript i'll tell you what is typescript typescript we are going to learn and the ninth topic i'm going to learn angular angular typescript is part of angular this is how you are going to learn in 3 months after that say guys uh, i forgot to tell you when i am doing here adio.net in parallel you are going to learn sql server which is on weekends sql server because without sql server i cannot able to connect adio.net got it so that is the one 
and angular final output of the project how we are going to develop is let me show you so this all understand right operating system now i am saving i'm just putting os i'm just saying platform and then go to new basically how to build the project in real time let me show you see here i have a database how the project in web application will work in angular i have a project called database where you go read data update data insert data all your data which you are entering in the ui will go and store in the database to call the database we are using a api we are going to build a api what is that asp web api asp.net web api okay so these two are deployed in a single server clear everybody clear on online guys anita shake vijay are you able to hear my voice okay sir once yeah please sir what is it mean by api uh, means sir api means sir i will tell you api okay. means web services services you are creating services i will explain vijay vijay okay sir okay see uh, you 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 know what is web services uh, no sir i don't know i don't know. okay so i will teach you see what happened is web services is nothing but which doesn't have ui only it will go and build give you data when you use an api it will give you data so api will be built i'll tell you why i have i need an api right away see now here i have windows application has been deployed i am created a windows application windows application okay this windows application will call web api asp.net web api asking that give me data from the db example employee data i want to show it internally what will happen when now the request of windows application will go to the api api in turn connect with the database retrieve the data give it back to the windows application not required because it is within the organization absolutely you are right now now you will have a web application which is a dot net based web application now in the web application i am having a services angular are you got my point i am using a service called angular here what i am telling angular angular 6 or whatever the question we have angular plus type script okay what is angular will do angular is a business rule engine now you will have here html css bootstrap based application or asp.net mvc you can have two okay so what will have you can have either html plus bootstrap application app or asp.net mvc got it you can develop any kind of application or you got me fine once you done that this application either html bootstrap application or mvc application will request data what data it will request it will request data to the angular angular in turn will talk to asp.net api 
ASP .NET intent talk to DB, get the data, give it back to the ASP .NET TypeScript. That TypeScript data will be present in your web application. This is called full stack .NET development. Everybody have any issues, questions? Anybody have any questions? Now you all understand what is full stack .NET? Anita, shake up us, Vijay. Do you have any doubt how full stack.net works? Feel free to ask questions. Yes. Come again. Hello, shake up us. This project? Okay, fine. So basically what happened, let me try to tell you one more time. Please mute, unmute yourself, Shake. See, I have a DB database where it will store all the data or retrieve data or delete data or modify data. And then I create a web API. I will tell you what is web API. It is a RESTful service. It's a service which will give data. Web API is nothing but API. And that API will connect with either Windows application or web application. To render web application, you need to learn Angular as a web service. And that service will go and connect with either ASP.NET MVC or HTML Bootstrap. Are you got my point? So in this course, you are going to learn two things. One is to become a full stack web developer, you can use it. You can to become a full stack. .NET, you can use it. The only typical challenge you are not having here is you are not having React.js when you are going for full stack web development. Some company can use React.js. But as part of the full stack, full stack in the sense, see, typically what happened in real time, before 2019 or 2018, there is no concept called full stack. What will happen? DB, I have a separate person. Service, I have a separate person. Angular, I have a separate person. HTML or MVC will have a separate person. Are you got my point? So every individual developer will focus on that particular portion. Finally, they will integrate and do the end-to-end. -end. Now, industry looks for, instead of going with like that, let me have a person who can do end-to-end. Who can do end to end? That is why we are calling as full stack development or full stack .NET developer. Clear? Anybody have any questions? Now you all understand. See, when you become a full stack developer or full stack architect, there is a lot of more opportunities are available in the market. Anybody have any questions? Vijay, since you have a .NET experience, am I right or wrong? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? Okay. So this is the course you are going to learn in my class. I'm just putting full stack dot net full stack dot net developer. Okay. Let me go through the course content. Go to my folder. Go back to Narendra. Go to E drive. Go to Narendra. You see fullstack.net. Will you all able to see my screen? Everybody able to see my screen? Guys, are you there? Yeah. So first one is I'm going to talk about .NET framework and then these are all the basics which I Visual Studio I will cover at the time of running the program. Don't worry about it. Then I'll go and talk about C Sharp. Then I'm going to talk about variables, operators and everything. Then all these things I'll teach, basics. And then I will talk about arrays. And then I'm talking about Oops concepts inheritance interface and then i'm going to talk about 
I told you, right? Collections, phrase, stack, queue, dictionary. Everything will be teached. And then I'm going to talk about delegates. Then I'm going to talk about generics. Finally, I'm going to talk about how, what is exception handling and then ADO.net. Got it? After completing the ADO.net, as I discussed, I'm going to talk about HTML, all these HTMLs, and then CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap. Once that has been done, I will basically explain what is ASP.NET because nobody is using, and then I'm going to talk about state management in ASP.NET. Finally, I'm moving into ASP.NET MVC. Clear? In that ASP.NET MVC, I'll create a small examples, razor view engines, and URL routings. What is controller and actions? What is filters, views, where I'm going to create a master pages. I told you, right, master pages in 2020, 2005. In master pages, partial views and everything I'll create. Helper method, state management. The state management in ASP.NET, I'm already learned. Again, ASP.NET MVC, I will learn. Then there are a couple of additional techniques. And then I'm going with APIs, how to make, create a ASP.NET API, right? And then go with six of futures. Then I'll talk about TypeScript, which I discussed for Angular. And then I'll go with Angular futures. Finally, the course will be completed. Anybody have any questions? Hello. Anybody have any questions? Take a bus, Anita Reddy, Vijay. This course required one and a half hour theory, one and a half hour practical. You have to mandatorily do practice if you are coming to office. If you are come to office, it will be great instead of doing this through online. Because I will be available, you come, practice. If you ask questions, I will answer your questions. Clear? <laughs> and end of the day, once you've done everything, you will become minimum. I can challenge and bet you, you will become minimum two to three years of experience in .NET full stack. You can, you, can, you can work with two to three years of experience in .NET. That guarantee I can give you. Provided you have to practice daily. Anybody have any questions? That's all from my hand. Anybody have any questions? Feel free to ask questions, I can answer. Uh, sir, what is uh, .NET Core? We will also teach .NET Core also, sir? Yes, by default .NET Core will be there, by default. ASP.NET MVC will be built only through .NET Core, ASP.NET MVC Core. I told you, right, 6.4 feature. What is that 6.4 feature? MVC 6.4 is .NET Core or normal? Vijay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. .NET. .NET framework 6.0 is a core component, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. So, yes, put on it. MVC 6.0 is a core component only, right? Yes, sir. Yes. See, core is, is a name which Microsoft has given. Okay. If somebody not calling you as a core, it doesn't mean that you are not learning code. Clear? You are learning core with the .NET framework 6.0 by default. Okay? Anybody have any questions? As a fresher, if you spend minimum three to four months dedicatedly, on a daily basis, minimum three to four hours or five hours on a daily basis. Remaining time you can play, chat, whatever you want to do. If you spend minimum three to four months, I will guarantee you, 
anywhere you go, you will get a job. And sir, how confident you are talking that we are getting a job in .NET? How many number of openings are available in .NET? Let's go. Search in Nowcree. Nowcree.com. Search .NET. Okay. I'm searching .NET. And then experiences two years. Location is Hyderabad. Click search. Now, how many number of job openings are available in .NET? These are all one month job list. Five hundred and twenty nine jobs are available. Let's take a first one. What they are saying? Angular.NET full stack developer. What they are expecting? .NET core development, Angular, C sharp, full stack development, CSS. When it has been posted? Just 14 days back. See, don't believe on people talking. Believe on now free. Go and search in now free that what is the requirements are available. A person who have two to five years experience can get a package three to five lakhs. It may be more also. It depends on that. See, this guy is giving three to five lakhs. This guy is giving three to six lakhs. Depends on your skills. And this guy not disclosed. He may give more than that. Or you got my point? So now let the actually go into the requirement to understand with detail. If you click on this, what is the job description they given? What is the job description they given? Full stack developer with the minimum two years experience on .NET Core and Angular to join our team, right? A developer who have minimum two years of experience can join my team. As an integral part of our space, it should be creating scalable, robust, user-friendly application. What is the requirement they are also having? They have MySQL or working knowledge on SQL. And second thing is relevant experience in full not full stack dot net developer, relevant experience in Angular. Whenever you go and use dot net, 80% organization will go for Angular. Clear? Everybody clear? Yes, sir. Yes. So now, if you see here, what is the desired candidate profile they are looking for? Good programming and logical skill and continuous improvement on fully embraced .NET Core Angular energetic person I want. Clear? Now tell me to learn .NET full stack, are you part of this opening or not? In four months down the line. Today I have this many jobs. In four, four months down the line, I may have n, n number of jobs. Okay. Now you are asking freshers, right? Let me get freshers. I have 65 jobs in fresher. Which has 3 to 5 lakh CTC, which has no disclosed .NET developer, which has 0 to 1, 3 to 2, 2 to 3 lakhs experience, software engineer intern, zero experience, zero to five years. Everything will be there. Java will be there, Python will be there. Everybody, whoever they want, .NET developer, seven to 13 lakhs, zero to that experience, who have good in C sharp. If you look into this .NET developer, what they're looking for, it is in Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore, three to experience. What they want? Producing code using .NET language, upgrading configuring debugging existing system, provide technical support. I want a .NET developer. That's it. You got my point? See, openings are there. I proved you how the openings are there. .NET is much needed technology in market. Clear? 
Anybody have any questions? Nanita Reddy. Nanita Reddy. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Nanita Reddy. Shake up us. Vijay. Nanita Reddy. Do you have any questions? No, no, sir. Are you clear? Yeah, yes, sir. Shake up us. No, sir. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Vijay? Uh, no, sir. No questions. Okay. So, you can talk to my counselor. We can plan the batch from tomorrow onwards. Okay? Will you all agree? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.